Hi, I'm Ben. Now, this tape is about a very, very old four jaw chuck. It's in two parts, and I, I'll explain that as I go along. But it, I got it given to me years and years ago, and it's very, very old. Now, this is it. It's very, these are the jaws, mm -hmm. freeing them up to get them off. I want to get these pins out. <coughs> Pardon me. Four pins, four nuts, all have to come off. Look at the state that Chuck is in now. It's 118 years of age. It came off a Wilson's lathe was made in Glasgow, 1902. I got all their parts off of it. Look at that for its age. This is getting the pins out. That's two. Three. And that's the four pins. And now the screws to hold the jaws in. They have to come off. Now some of the jaws might be tight in it. It's a chuck I don't think was very used very much. That is the No. It's a bit on the tight side. It's a bit of a top, but those jaws are in great shape. The jaws are only in two stages, not three. That's for the pins. Yes. Nice one. Oh, they're coming out nice and easy. Now this has lay in my workshop all for 
quite a few years. The reason for two parts is I'm making a back plate finishing it off. So part two will be for mounting the back plate, mounting it onto the lathe. Looking for any, looking for any bad wear, but they all seem to be in great shape. The screws are in nice shape also. right back look at the work there would be in trying to turn those jaws They are in lovely shape. These are, I have drilled these holes for the suit, a back plate. That's the screws. Two, three, four. Now look at the jaws on those feet, they are in great shape. I hope to use it on a lathe. Now look at those screws. That that's another chuck key I have found. A bit of modification and it should do the job nicely. I might have to put a longer arm on it, but it should do. Nice one, yes. But I don't think I would be using them on that. Now this is the chuck. Going to clean all the parts up. Now I wash them all in paraffin. Now giving them a good wipe. Now this is the Chuck nicely cleaned up, ready for the jaws, screw holes 
for the back plate. Now part two will be screwing the back plate on, putting it Now that is the chuck, it's 118 years of age. I'm finishing the back plate. I just showed a wee clip of it there, how I back in the chuck. I hope some of you have found this of interest. Look out for part two when I put the back plate on, mount it in the lathe, and we'll try it out. This is Ben. Thank you for watching. Go to Benny Marner. Thanks again.